Oil chip made another coil, an air coil with thicker wire. Much thicker wire, I think uh, it's 18 or something. 18 gauge. Uh, the source battery is 12.60. Uh, it's not current, nothing. This is the battery that I will charge. Uh, it's already charged, but just for the fun of it. Okay. Uh, all right. Now it's using 300 milliamps. This one's going down. This one is going up. But not very impressive. Now, if I take a coil, a core, iron core, almost nothing happens. 330 milliamps, still putting this down. So, this welding rods that I put in here don't do much. Now, this is a ferrite core. Now, watch this. This is going down immediately. Look at my charging battery. It's flying up. And this one is not draining so much anymore. So only 240 milliamps. But look at the charging battery. It flies up. Oh, this is incredible. Very interesting. So what is so special about this ferret coil? So this is the best I can get. 240 milliamps in. This is my source battery. It's even going down a little. But this one's flying up. Okay, and it's all with a very short, only a few windings. Maybe 10 meters wire, uh, a very small trigger wire. Oh yeah, one thing I don't have, I don't have the, the diode from the base to the, to the ground. Uh, the clipping diode, I left it away. Uh, I have one capacitor in the base circuit here, which improves it a bit. Oh, it's looking very promising. This stays cold. Very cool. Okay, just a few minutes later, still going up. 230 milliamps, still at 442. The signal looks like this. I hope you can see it. Now, if I remove the coil, see what happens. Frequency goes up. It seems like the only thing. But then, if I use the other coil, other core, the iron core, it does about the same thing. Then it does not charge so well. Look at it. This is my charge, but my current is going up with the iron coil. So it's probably dissipated in, in heat or something. But look at this. Put this in. Less current. And way more output, lower frequency, beats me, worth investigating.